guys so I'm back with another large Japanese proxy site haul and this package is from Zen Market and if you've seen my videos in the past I've extensively discussed why I like using Zen Market um, especially from purchasing on Yahoo auctions so I won't get into that whole spiel but what's inside this box um, is a lot of bundle deals that added up to quite a lot of weight but there were things that I couldn't pass up. And before we get into this box here, um, I do want to say that there are a few items in here that are not mine. So I ordered um, this bundle of Girls' Generation CDs for a friend of mine. Um, so you might see me take them out of the box here, but I won't be showing them to you later um, because they're not mine. But anyway, uh, let's get into this because this video is going to be rather long. Lots of bubble wrap. And large items as you see here. You guys can probably tell this is a really deep box. So now for the reveal part um, of this haul video. So I'm going to change things up and start with CDs this time since I didn't buy many actual CDs. And so the first one was another copy of uh, My Name's My Best Name. So this is, um, if you're not familiar with My Name's Japanese music, this is kind of their best of album um, with a really great track list. Um, so it has all the songs that their fans um, I guess selected um, to be on this best of album um, as well as a DVD with some music video content. And so the reason why I got another copy of this um, was because I decided to collect my name's uh, photo cards um, since they don't have a lot of photo cards um, and all their photo cards are mostly um, from their Japanese releases. And so that CD came with uh, Seiyong's jacket card. And so this didn't come with uh, this particular CD, but I also picked up Gummoo's uh, Jacker card. And then the other album I ended up buying, which um, also is a duplicate copy of one I already own, um, is AOA's Heart Attack album. And the reason why I got another copy of this is because not only is AOA one of my um, ultimate female groups, but I also... Um, meant to get a signed copy um, through M-Wave um, when this was released. I actually did place an order on M-Wave, but because I ordered it with another album, um, I guess whenever that other album um, happened to be available after the um, group signed um, all the copies to give to M-Wave, uh, they emailed me and told me that all the AOA signed albums were gone. And so I was really bummed out when that happened and also really salty because then I think the next month they had a summer sale where they had signed copies of this album so I was really annoyed <laughs> that they didn't give me my signed album so I bought this and it was a great price too I think it was $20 with free shipping um, and um, the copy I own actually has uh, the disc uh, cracked so I needed a new replacement anyway, so this was a good one to get. And it also came with photo cards. So I have all the Selka photo cards, and I do have this um, Showa player card, though mine's damaged, so this was a good opportunity to replace mine as well. And next, I'm going to move on to DVDs. And so I only bought one 
a bundle deal uh, for official DVDs. And that was for some FTI Islands, older Korean uh, DVDs. So that bundle included The Beautiful Journey, 2010, a uh, concert, which um, has a nice little photo book along with the DVD um, with English subtitles. And I also got their 2011 Play FT Island DVD, which also has a nice little photo book along with some DVD content and English subtitles. And then the last DVD in that bundle was their FG Island first concert, or first live concert. So this was really why I hopped on this bundle, because um, this is their first um, concert DVD they released uh, for their Korean concerts. And this is actually really hard to find for a reasonable price. Um, a lot of older FG Island stuff, if you guys collect FG Island, know um, are hard to come by. And so I wanted to get this bundle because it was really cheap, I think. All three DVDs were around 2,000 yen, or between 2,000 yen and um, 2,500 yen. But um, I've seen um, this just listed alone, and then sometimes also damaged um, for well over like 5,000 yen. Um, so I wanted to get this bundle where I had two DVDs I didn't own, um, and then also this one for a good price. And to continue on with FT Island, um, I did pick up a small little, um, they're calling this a photo essay. And so when they um, had a lot of their earlier concerts, um, especially in Japan, they had these really small photo books. So if you've seen some of my um, hauls from a few months ago, um, I did have a lot of larger FT Island Japanese photo books. But they used to release these really small little photo books or photo essays. And I really love the raining era. I just really like the styling. And it's just always fun to see them look so young. And I'm going to transition now into some more um, photo books, but from other groups. So I'm going to start off with this uh, TVXQ or Tohoshinki um, photo book. So sorry about the glare. It's really, um, shiny here. Let me set it down there. So this is um, their live photo book um, for their Begin Again concert that they had um, at the end of last year. And I really love these photo books um, because they're massive, as you can see here, but the photos in here are just stunning. And I've been wanting to uh, find just a really good price um, for this photo book because a lot of times these newer ones, um, they kind of go for a lot of money. I don't know if anyone will be interested in a formal unboxing. I kind of only do unboxings when I feel like it <laughs> or if I get requests. So do be sure if you do see something like in a haul of mine to request for unboxing. If I don't really uh, say I'm going to do one because I think for my last haul I mentioned I may do ones but I never got around to it. And then I got some smaller photo books for 2pm. So this is their, um, I guess, making book or brochure for their 2014 Japanese tour, Genesis of 2PM. And all these photos are so cute. So this is when they um, went to Frankfurt. And they did a lot of um, side projects there and even filmed um, their step-by-step -step music video, I believe. And so this was really fun to flip through. So I have that one. And then the other official photo book for 2PM I ended up picking up was this small, um, it's called the 2PM Lovely Photo Book. So this was um, something they had for JYP Nation, I want to say 2012. And it's, um, the pages are kind of like cardboard, so what you get from, so what you see usually uh, for like children's photo books or books, picture books, uh, but the pictures in here are really adorable, especially because they're all um, paired up and all these. So, yeah, and short and sweet, even though it looks thicker than it really is because of um, these really thick cardboard pages. 
And they do have a few more of those. Um, I plan to pick up eventually. Basically, I kind of wait for these sort of things um, to be listed for under 500 yen before I pick them up uh, because they usually do eventually. And now I'm going to transition into photo cards because I did pick up quite a few photo cards in this haul. But first, uh, I guess non 2 p.m. related photo cards because basically the rest of this haul is 2 p.m. related. Um, but I have these two FT Island photo cards um, from Minwon um, that I needed. And then I got a lot of uh, these venue uh, jacket cards for TBXQ. So uh, both of these I think were from their tree concert. Um, and they're, uh, if you bought, I think they're Sweat and Answer uh, CDs at the venue. Uh, you would get one of these random transparent jacket cards. And so I recently um, purchased some new two pocket pages for my photo card binders, which are much larger than what Ultra Pro and uh, BCW have. And so I'm expanding my TVXQ jacket card collection uh, because of that. And so that's why I decided to get more of these. And these, um, I think were sold out their with concert for their last single before they um, enlisted. And there are some Time Works Wonders uh, venue jacket cards, and they do have some from their Begin Again tour um, when they were for their reboot single. But those are all, I think, group cards. So all these also have group cards, I believe. Um, but for now, I'm kind of focusing more so on getting both Chongwen's and Juno's Jacko cards rather than the groups. Now on to all the 2PM cards. Um, so this doesn't look like a card, but this is from their Republic of 2PM concert. So this is their first Japanese concert. And um, they have these little Polaroid things. So you could actually take out these Polaroids, which I probably will do. And they did this for quite a few of their concerts and events. So I'll need to get all those eventually. That comes in this plastic sleeve too. And then recently in Japan, they had a delayed viewing of their Six Nights uh, concert. Um, and so they handed out these stickers, um, as well as these, I think it's like a glow stick. Um, so I picked those up. And next up, I have a lot of stickers, as you see here. So. Um, there was one seller who was uh, kind of dividing up a bunch of their concert goods that you could get from their lottery tickets. So if you're not familiar with, I guess, how JYP groups promote in Japan, they usually have these like lottery tickets um, that will tell you if you win a prize or something. So this is their house party in Japan, um, little bundle I got. So I really needed this Minjun um, lottery ticket. I had the rest of the group, but I didn't have his. Um, and it also came with some stickers, uh, mostly Juno. And then um, I also got Juno's message card um, for that. Then the next bundle was for Juno's Hyper Concert. So it came with um, this message card, well, some stickers, um, lottery tickets, and then more stickers. And some of these stickers you can only get at certain um, venues. And then uh, more Juno ones. So this is from his 2017 SS concert. Some more stickers, lottery tickets. I'm a photo card from that album. And then this is, I think, these larger, like, little message cards, I'm not really sure where they're from. I think if you are a member of something, you get this, but that's what that is. And then I got some for William as well. So this is for party shots, so the lottery tickets, and then all the stickers from that. Maybe her concert. And this last one is for Wu Young's Matabokuwa. So 
these are the lottery tickets for that. Um, a lot of the stickers. Um, a message card. Um, this is a message card for party shots, actually. But for some reason, they stuck it in this bundle. Um, I'm not really sure what this is, but it's a sticker. Um, and these are two Polaroid photos for, I think, buying something at a venue. More stickers. And then larger cards you get if you are some member of something. So more 2 p.m. Um, photo cards and postcard things. So I got um, their 3D cards from their, I believe this is Legend of 2 p.m. So these came in two different sets. So you could get a set for um, the three oldest members. And then a set for um, the three youngest members. So that's what all these look like. And then I got a bundle for uh, consisting of all these things. So this was the last Six Nights lenticular card I needed. So this is Chan Sung. And this bundle also came with a uh, random photo card for uh, their latest season's greetings um, with the young boys. And then it also came with this Chan Sung um, Six Higher Days card. So I try to get these 2 p.m. card things in bundles since they do pop up every once in a while and given um, some markets fees, um, it's much cheaper just to wait for a bundle rather than buy things individually, unless you can't wait for a specific thing. So in this bundle, um, I wanted this group, JYP Nation 2016, um, I think this is the mail order um, card you get, and also came with this Juno's uh, last typer night photo card um, as well as a message card from that and that larger membership card. So for more bundles, um, I got this Juno one um, with a jacket card that I already have and I think this is an unofficial card if you, I'm guessing, bought their number five album in Japan, you'd get one of those. And then this is one of his Six Higher Days card. But really, I wanted to get these two 2015 fan meeting um, cards. And so this is one of two you could get from their old boys versus young boy fan meeting. And then this is one of um, the mail order stickers. So before they did mail order photo cards, um, they did these stickers. So this is one of Juno's. Um, he has another one where he's performing. And that same seller had one for Chansung. So again, I think an unofficial shop. Uh, number five postcard, a higher card, and then two of, from that fan meeting. And this Six Nights card, um, or group card, I did buy just one off because I been wanting to get more of these group cards and usually you don't see group cards, little medals, so I end up buying that one. The next I have some Young, um trading cards from his Rose uh, debut in Japan. So it's his debut concert and most of these came in a bundle uh, except for the last one I'll be showing you. So um, all the ones in that blue suit. Um, those are kind of like the regular version you could get. Um, and then here it says Osaka, so this is like a special venue specific card. And I just really like this one, so that's why I decided to buy that one individually. And the same seller was actually selling his mail order stickers. So again, um, for doing the mail order photo cards, they had uh, mail order stickers, so um, they have it for his rose set. Um, which is really hard to find, so it's glad they were selling so many from that. And the last few Wu Young cards are um, both of these uh, from his first Korean uh, concert that he just had. And these are not trading cards that you get randomly. These are cards you get um, if you spend, I think, over 100,000 won or something. 
um, on a specific day, you get one of these cards. So I have it, both of those now. The next up I have some Jim K cards I got in bundles. So he had his No Time um, release and concert. And um, this is the sticker you could get, I think, from a lottery ticket. And then these are some of the trading cards um, you could get from that. And then the seller, I think, also threw in this No Shadows card. And then I have some cards from Nick Woon's, uh fan meeting. So these are so these are the cards from his Japanese fan meeting. Um, and there are there's a different set um, for this specific fan meeting that he did in Korea. Um, so this is the Japanese one. So I got this in a bundle set. And then I also got this 2 p.m. of 2 p.m. Uh, Yokohama uh, photo card for really cheap. Which I really love those cards, so I try to get as many of those um, the new specific 2 p.m. and 2 p.m. cards as I can. So we're almost done with the photo cards. Um, this last bit here is all of Juno. So I have his Galaxy cards, and then all these uh, six higher day cards are venue specific ones. Um, you can tell the difference because they they state like, where this is from. So these are from, um, I think, Osaka. And I managed to get another canvas uh, Korean photo card, as well as some more of his 2017 SS cards, and the Yokohama uh, encore concert for that concert. And then I got a bunch more from his recent uh, Winter Sleep concert. Um, a lot of them, or most of these are with him and um, Penguin plushies. That one's my favorite. And this is also from that. And then I have a few more from um, the Encore concert for that winter concert. So I push things to the side to make room because there's a lot of fan site related things I ended up getting um, that added up to a lot of bulk. And they're all of 2 p.m. too. I'm going to start off with Chansung. So I got this uh, photo book really cheap um, and it's a lot thicker than I expected since I think I only paid like five dollars for this but I don't have too many um, Chansung related fan site photo books though after Junho he was I think the first number I started buying things from so glad I am able to add more to his collection and then the next number um, is Jun K. so I ended up getting two photo books from the same seller um, the first one is Sunshine. Um, so this is a really old photo book. It comes in this um, hard case. And I think this goes up to 2012. But there's a lot of uh, pictures of him at various events. And then I also got um, this Alive photo book. And I've been wanting to get this one for a while because uh, this one was always really expensive. So I was glad to get it for a much more reasonable price. And as you guys could both, as you guys probably could tell, um, these are both a lot older photo books. So these are first for these fan sites. So most of the secondhand fan site photo books you find on these proxy sites are often older ones. Um, though sometimes you could find some fairly recent ones as well. But usually the older ones are the ones you get for the best deals. Um, and so whenever I find photo books like these for really not very expensive prices, especially considering how much uh, you had to pay for them when they are first released, um, I think it's well worth getting them. Even though the photos are older, but it's kind of, I don't know, 
feel a little nostalgic kind of flipping through them and just comparing how much has changed. And so the next things are going to be all of Wu Young. I ended up buying this really huge bundle deal. Um, all of fansite related goods. So this is DVDs, photo books, and other things. So I'll try to get through all these really quickly, but it's going to take a while. And it was really cheap. Like, I think I ended up paying about $20, $21 um, before domestic shipping and, of course, international shipping. So it was a really great deal because prior to this, I only had one Wu Young fan site related photo book. So it seemed like a good opportunity to add more to my collection. So I'm going to start off with the larger things, um, which are photo books. So this is one of the photo books um, that was in that bundle deal. Um, and this is from Wu Young A fan site. And um, this is an older photo book. Um, so I think it's pre-2012 pictures. So a lot of these events are actually the same ones as uh, what you probably saw it in the June K photo books. So it's kind of cool when you have multiple member fan site photo books um, and you just see the different perspectives um, that these fan sites captured for all the members. And the other larger photo book um, was this one. So this is a little smaller. And um, this is a 2013 photo book. So it does, I think. Capture a few more events. And looks like up to grown. And because this bundle had so many different fan site things, um, I'm not really sure about what goes with what, so I'm just going to show you things. <laughs> um, and so I think this is a little mini photo book um, from one of the calendars I got. So this is just of uh, uh, his solo with Sexy Lady. And the next um, are some DVDs. So there's a lot of DVDs that were in this bundle. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to finish all these. Um, but there's a lot of good footage here, so I'm curious how these will go. Um, there's that one. And there's this one. Which also contains four discs. And a little mini photo book. And then there's this little bundle um, with a special DVD and photo book. And so this is the DVD, which again, there's multiple discs. And then this little photo. And then this last DVD um, is more kind of cute. Um, there's a lot of fan site goods I think probably came with this DVD. I'll show you later. But just more DVD content as well as some extra DVDs. But I think these came with the calendars, which I'll show next. So a fan site that um, had this bundle um, also had a calendar that came in this bag. And I'm not going to really flip through these. Um, I guess I'll do it this way. So they're just dust calendars. Um, pictures of Wu Young. Same with this one. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> there's some... Oh, I this way. There's some really nice photos of Wu Young. And both of those. And the last calendar. Um, is this little mini dust calendar and it does come with um, a DVD and then a photo book and this dust calendar. So next I'm just going to pile on all the goods that just came in this bundle because there's a lot. Um, so there's this 
mouse pad, and sticker sheet, a little notebook, some larger photos. planner. So it does have a few photos to come in there. And a mini calendar. A lot of photos. And these are, I think, cards. I guess you could write things on these. And this is that artistic design of buried under there. But the one with the artistic cover I mentioned earlier is some more, I guess, drawing related goods on it. A full young. More stickers. And then photos. More photos. Continuing on with more photos. So I'm not sure how I'm going to arrange all these things. Um, I, don't, I haven't even showed you half the things um, or the freebie things yet, but I'll have to figure out something. A tin of a lot of photo cards. Oh, they have different backs. much smaller than the other one. And a Lizzie. These are passport covers. Um, some transportation card holder. And a hand mirror. It's really cute. And a strap. Here on there. I want to say this is a luggage deck. Another hand mirror. And some little cleaner things for your phone. Electronic devices. And then some electro or anti electromagnetic stickers. little post-it note memo sheet. I think these are some more. Some more cartoon stickers. More photo cards. So this is a transparent one. Another photo card set, I think, from various sites, since they're all different sizes and textures. And then lastly, um, this little ribbon. So the, all that added up to be quite a lot, um, I know. Uh, so I'll just have a very short, I guess, closing. But basically, um, when it comes to proxy site hauls, I don't see myself getting really large ones in the future. Um, I have, I've stopped using one of my proxy sites, um, which I mentioned in a previous video. Though I did make a very small order on a proxy site called Japonica, 
So I just ordered um, like five things um, just to test out um, how they work and do a review um, and let you guys know um, my thoughts about them. Um, and so that, I'm not sure when that will be coming in, but maybe in a week or two. Um, but when it comes to Zen Market, um, I do have a few things that I pre-ordered from Japan's uh, Sony Music Shop um, that are, of course, 2PM related. Um, so those don't come out until like May. So I'm not really sure when I'll do another order. I might just wait until May for Chansung's solo concert. But other than that, I don't expect a really large haul to come in the future. Especially because I need to save up for concert tickets <laughs> that I plan on going to. But anyway, um, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, despite the ridiculous amount of fan site stuff um, towards the end. I do have more videos planned. Um, they're not going to be haul videos, but more collection focused. So do look forward to those. And until next time, bye guys.